Setting shop. Just he's here now. I'm just going to put him in the picture. Doctor. There's nothing under there, Brigadier. There's no reason to suppose that any one of those numbers is more likely to turn up than any other. 23. 23. Brigadier, how did you know that? Look over here. We got this from the scientific chap into the ministry. They've got a big test centre for this sort of thing. Uh, along the bottom, you've got the numbers from 1 to 36. Oh, like the roulette wheel. Mm. And I suppose each of the columns shows how often that number turned up. Exactly. And they're all the same height. Ah, uh, well, near enough. So that each number has the same chance of turning up. Which is just what you'd expect from looking at that wheel. But how did you know that I get 23? Ah, uh, these are the old results. Uh -huh. uh, William. This is what happened last week. You mean 23 has been turning up far more than anyone would expect? But you didn't know I'd get a 23. No, but he knew it was very likely. Right, Brigadier? Exactly. Yes. Trouble is, they can't explain it at all. Yes. And the situation is getting worse. Worse? Yes. Doctor, if you were to toss a coin into the air a hundred times, mm -hmm. how many times would you expect to get heads? On average? Mm, about 50. But of course you could get anything from zero to 100. Exactly. Here's one of the old batches of tests. Oh. You see, Terry Ann? Heads and tails, roughly the same. Now the probability of getting heads is what? Uh, 50%? One half. Mm. It was a half, Doctor. Here's what they got six weeks ago when the minister ordered an investigation. Good. Heavens. About 70 heads out of 100 shows altogether. The probability of getting heads is reached, what? 17. Almost three quarters. And two weeks ago, this came in. That's 80 out of 100 heads. One week ago? That's incredible. Ding, ding. And this came in yesterday. Ding, ding, Jupiter. The probability of getting heads is reached. 99 hundreds. Almost equal to one. Well, what would happen if the probability reaches one? Well, then, well, then the, the coin would come down heads every time you threw it. I mean, a probability of one means absolute certainty. Oh, sounds very dull. Worse than that, Kelly Ann. People will be bored to death. Quite. Doctor, can you help us? Please, Doctor. Oh, very well, Sally Ann. Got a newspaper. And about eight pairs of scissors. Come on, then. We haven't got all day. Enough. Doctor, I don't see how this is going to... Uh... Now, Brigadier, this thing, whatever it is, has altered probability if we knew it. Everything has become certain. Since nobody plays cards anymore, no. or bingo. Then they've had to change the rules of most of the games. And yes, quite so. You see, this thing, whatever it is out there that's doing it to us, I mean, there must be a reason for it. Only we could reach them. I think we can, Terry. Now, listen very carefully. We are each going to take a little piece of paper from the pile and read out the word printed on it. Any piece? Yes. Hmm. Well, that won't make any sense. They're all mixed up. It's just chance. Sure. And, Doctor, you mean... Exactly, Brigadier. There is no chance anymore. It's bound to make sense. Now, come along. Take a piece. I... I... Birmingham? 
apricots. Hey, what's in the now? Goalkeeping. Doctor, it doesn't make sense anymore. So much for that idea. Oh, don't you see? It shouldn't make sense. We're back to normal. We've won. <laughs> I say, anyone for a game of cards? <laughs> 